How's it going, y'all? This is Old Country, and we are back with yet another speed build after, uh, I think it's been like a week, uh, which is not what I wanted it to be, but it's been, it's been a, a busy week, but it's been about a week since I uploaded the European Badger speed build, and boy, do we have quite the doozy here, because this, fun fact, did not start out as an Alpine Ibex speed build, so initially... Uh, I was planning on going back to doing some more Zupedia order speed builds and I, I'm on the Bengal Tiger right now and um, So initially this was actually gonna be my Bengal Tiger speed build and um, I kind of built had built the shelter already and I was kind of doing some stuff here and then I'm like I don't I you know for I like it enough to keep going, but I don't really like it as a Bengal tiger habitat. So I'm like, um, what's coming out? What's coming out? I'm like, um, I'm like, uh, Europe stuff, you know, you there's the Europe stuff that's out. I've been doing, I did the Eurasian lynx and the badger. Uh, let's do another Europe one. I'm like, let's make it a phyllo deer habitat. And then I started kind of going even more with this. I kind of finished almost, uh, like a quarter to a half of, um, this side. And I'm like, this doesn't really strike me as something fallow deer would live in and then it kind of I tried downgrading it a little bit and some of this isn't even on camera some of this I I um, did not uh, put into this video there's some recordings I have deleted because this look this side was initially just was just the habitat it, it did not have all of this like believe me none of this was it was just uh, this and uh, it was supposed to be one little viewing window here that kind of turned into like this whole tunnel of viewing windows on both sides and it was initially well not initially the third time around it was supposed to be the arctic fox habitat and which is still coming that's probably probably going to be my next one i'll probably get that out next week as as well as the fallow deer because i'm pretty sure the fallow deer isn't going to take me that long there's not much i can really do with the fallow deer and that'll wrap up my european uh, speed builds and i i want to wrap them up because the europe packs kind of it's kind of dragging along at this point it's not getting it's not as popular as it was when it first came out and Planet Zoo is also kind of in that, we're getting to that point right now where it's after Christmas, uh, people are kind of getting bored of the Europe pack. Um, people are getting bored of Planet Zoo in general. You know, it's that time of year where you kind of feel like you don't know what to do. Maybe I'm the only one that gets like this, but I kind of feel like I never know what to do. And I kind of just end up sitting around doing nothing. And it's like, oh, well, that sucks because, you know, I'm a productive person. I like to get stuff done. And you can, I kind of have to force myself at this time of year to get stuff done. And I kind of force myself to get this habitat done. And I, I have these rocks here. I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's take this in a weird direction. Let's take this in the Alpine Ibex direction. I wasn't going to do the Ibex yet. I was planning on something completely different for the Ibex. But this exceeded my expectations because i hated once again i hated this habitat uh before i put any of the foliage in i'm like eh, i don't know if i don't know about this but then it just i worked my foliage ma ma magic and uh, in my brain it turned out good so i hope you guys enjoy what it came to be i think it looks pretty good you know i i just you know i'm always gonna have that uh thought in my head of all the other habitats it was and it's gonna kind of like play down how I think about it but I think it turned out actually really cool and I I, I think the foliage really works together uh, I think the rocks are really cool I tried something new with the uh, tried to do uh, more of the pointy rock effects and I think it turned out pretty good like I said I I think it turned out to be a pretty decent alpine ibex habitat and uh, I'm happy with it you know I'm happy with it the, as, as all you know the Europe pack wasn't my cup of tea. It's it's better than I thought. You know, most of the stuff, most of the Europe pack highlights come from uh, the scenery, more or less than the animals. But um, the ibex is okay. They're kind of growing on me. I wasn't when I first saw them. I wasn't crazy about them. Um, I know a lot of people were wanting an ibex. I think an ibex is a great addition. But I, there was something, the uh, females are, look actually pretty good. I think the females actually are pretty, pretty good. I like how they can go through these, these two trees. It's pretty cool. I was hoping uh, their hitboxes would be small enough to do that. And yeah, they are. And I really like this waterfall. 
this little waterfall thing I did. Not a lick of water on it, just the water effects. And yeah. I wish I could go in here. I I, I kinda wish I edited it. Edited it. And then 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 me. Um uh, I wish I edited it. Edited it. That's a hard wait, I wish I edited. No, because it's like edited. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I got it, I got it. <laughs> See, proper grammar here on the old country YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I wish I edited uh, it to for them to go in, but I think I would have to move some of these rocks and I don't feel like doing it. I really don't. <laughs> this habitat took long enough. Um, well, actually it didn't take too long to build, but it took long enough to get to where it is now. Many, many days uh, have gone by, uh, a little over a week actually, because of how many times I've had to redo what I was doing. And um, that's why the backstage area is pretty lazy. Uh, you may recognize this. It is the Bactrian Camel uh, shelter I did for the Bactrian Camel speed speed build. Go check that one out. That one did really good, and I'm really proud of that one. It's simple yet uh, effective. And most of my time was put into the shelter, and I said, you know what? Why not? You know, <laughs> why not? That looks good. I like that. You know, that looks good. It doesn't really match the color scheme I was going with, but that's what you get when uh, I, I put, you know, this much foliage work into the habitat. And like I said, uh, I'm not a big backstage guy. I That's not what I like to do. I get very bored doing backstage very quickly. And, you know, my main thing is just I like to do habitats. You want to, do, you want to add whatever you want to this habitat because, all, as you all know, they go on the workshop, do what you want with them. Uh, they go on the work. This is something that's been a little bit of a topic of confusion lately. Um, people that have been downloading them, I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube, the workshop, um, Instagram, stuff like that. They're saying, uh, when I when I download the item off the workshop, it's not appearing in my blueprints. It's not a blueprint, guys. It's a zoo. So I upload it as a zoo, so everything is here. Because sometimes when you do blueprints, not everything shows up. It's funny like that. There are some foliage pieces that still don't show up in blueprints. And I learned my lesson the hard way uh, by actually uploading the Baird's Tapir habitat initially as a habitat blueprint instead of a zoo. And there was a ton of foliage missing from the blueprint when I uploaded it as a habitat. So everything going forward and everything, I ha I'm pretty sure I fixed everything. Everything is a zoo. Everything is available for download, and it's downloadable as a zoo. You make your own habitat uh, with, uh, you make, I mean, you make your own blu blueprints with the habitat. That's, you know, you decide what you want to use. Just be aware that some stuff probably might not show up. There have been many times where I have tried to make blueprints and things don't show up. I don't know why it's broken. I don't know if Frontier's gonna fix it. It's not really my problem anymore. You know, I've had my fair share of uh, mo like frustration moments. Uh, me calmly, very calmly swearing to myself and sitting at my computer frustrated that all that work and I can't even save it as a blueprint properly. You know? So, but you get what you get. But yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys really like the, the Ibex. Oh, this took so much figuring out. Um, because, like, you have to have... I wanted this to blend in. It kind of blends in. But, like, I really wanted it to blend in with the other rocks and stuff. But, like, they are so sensitive to uh, hopping on. The, like, it has to be... Every little portion they jump on has to be, like, o like extremely open. They can't put a rock, you know, just merged into here. Otherwise, they won't use it, you know. And I'm, even then, like, they exit this way, which I didn't know because I have some rocks here, but I really like the backdrop of rocks here. So they kind of do this thing where once they get on top, they do the pose, they strike the pose. Like they're good all the way up to the top. They strike the pose and then when they're done striking the pose, they kind of like levitate up. I think you'll see that in the cinematic and they'll kind of like levitate down, go through the rock and come around. It's just something you gotta live with because I don't feel like, this is one of my, I, this sounds incredibly stupid. But this angle, this shot right here, if I do like something like that or something like that, like this, uh, this is like one of my favorite rock formations I created uh, in, in this habitat. And I'm not getting rid of it because I, this is like my favorite spot right here. Looking at it like this, this is like one of my favorite spots. It, it's awesome. I love it. And um, yeah, I'm not going to change it. So there you have to deal with, you can change it if you want. 
and it, you, if you if you don't mind a little bit of levitation though you know the magic ibex um you know feel free to keep it as it is you know so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed like i said it's gonna be on the workshop it's been old country it's been a time um have a good night y'all